You're ready. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hello and welcome to Once Upon a Tabletop. Yes, hello Yay. chummers, welcome. It's the gaming show where we get together and play a board game and role play the action at the table to boot. And uh, my name is Bobby Frankenberger, I'm just one of the three co-hosts on this show. And here with me is also my co-host Cliff, aka Mr. Johnson. Uh, Mr. Johnson, I got a quick lightning question for you. Dice preference, rounded edges or squared? Hmm, rounded. Rounded edges, any particular reason? Nope, I just shut it up the first thing that came to my mind. I don't Well, really it is a lightning question. I'm already long, making it longer than it's supposed to be. My other co host is Ozcore. Oz, who's going to be kind of guiding us along this game. Oz, tell us what game we're going to be playing tonight. Tonight, we're going to be playing Mansions of Madness 2nd second Edition, which is the one with the app. So uh, if you've played Mansions of Madness before and you were like, eh, 2nd Edition is. Personally, my opinion, a humongous improvement. So I, I, having never played first edition and only played second edition, I agree with your analysis. Also with us tonight <laughs> are the two guests we're going to be playing that are going to be playing with us. Uh, for, on this show, we always are going to be bringing in guests. And first up, she's a cast member of Join the Anarchy, a Shadow and An Anarchy actual play stream that we broadcast right here on the Shadowcasters Network Twitch channel every other Monday night. It's Scrim! Hi, everybody. So, dice preference, rounded edges or squared? Squared. Squared. Good. Good answer. The more <laughs> dangerous ones. The deadlier <laughs> ones to throw at people. Finally, <laughs> he's a freelance writer and artist. He's a game designer. He's done work for Catalyst Game Labs. He's been gaming for almost 30 years from by his own account and currently helping to run a game, his own gaming company. Or, or, or you, you I'm, I'm assuming you run it with somebody else, right? Broomstick Fighters, Andrew Cohen. Correct, sir. We got, I got one other guy behind me on that one, but yes, that's what we're trying to do. Get an RPG right. out the door, sir. That's that's probably not easy work, but before you get into that, rounded edges or squared? Squared. Yeah. Squared? We got oh, yeah. two for squared, one for rounded. I like uh, I, I like whatever rounded. I like rounded. I, I want to. I want to make this a controversial uh, thing, so I will go with rounded. I will also um, go with rounded. Oh well, then it's been decided. Um, <laughs> our uh, our our guests are against us, guys. <laughs> Deadlier um, well, D four. I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> well, of course, tonight's all about playing a tabletop board game, and we're going to be playing. As Oz already said, Mansions of Madness, second edition. Oz, why don't you uh, do us the honors of explaining to us and our audience how this game works? Sure. Um, so, man uh, actually, before we do, uh, I would like to do a shout out real quick to um, Scrim's husband, who you may also know as Super Sage every once in a while in chat. Uh, he runs a little thing called Mythos Busters, which is a podcast dedicated to investigating the mystery, monsters, and madness of Arkham Horror, the card game. We figured that uh, we would cross-promote each other because, uh, you know, we're basically all Lovecraft lovers here, and that is what Mansions of Madness is tonight. Um, Mansions of Madness is a Lovecraft-themed board game uh, where we all play different investigators that for whatever reason uh, go to a location and investigate a mystery. Uh, the app is what guides us through. Uh, on our turn we all get two actions and those actions could be to move, to interact with the board, to fight, uh, to trade, etc, uh, etc. Et and that's that's it. And then once we all take our turn, we can take our turns in whatever order we want, then we move on to Mythos phase where the app does stuff to us. Um, I think that's the basic gist of it. So yeah. um, it's a pretty cool game because you kind of can just go with the flow with the, with the way the app works, right? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so, we're going to be playing, uh, we have the app on Steam, and we also are using Tabletop Simulator, uh, which is how we are able to play this game tonight, so thank you very much to whoever it was that created this awesome table. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's great. 
Yeah. So let's get started. We uh we have some. Do we want to introduce character our characters now, or should we wait to do that? Uh yeah sure let's introduce our characters now. All right. Well then uh I you know being polite and all from the south here as I am let's have our guests go first and introduce themselves. Well I introduced Scrim first so I will go to uh, Andy Cohen there and let him go first this time. Tell us who you're going to be playing tonight and 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 a little bit about yourself. Do it in character even if you want to. Oh, indeed, indeed. So I am Preston Fairmont, uh, a very rich man who knows not where his money comes from, but but I know that there was something called the Order of the Silver Twilight that my grandfather was involved in, and and when my father died, I inherited all this money. Um, un, uninterested in things at first, uh, I, I had a fashionable young lady approach me and request that I join her on a night to remember, and she certainly delivered indeed. Um, and then right there, my father appeared. And and as the seance was going on, I, I discovered things beyond my ken and, and decided I should start investigating these worlds. So so here I come, loveys. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, excellent, Preston. Um, and and Scrim, what about you? Who, who, who are you tonight? I am Rita Young. I, uh, some weird stuff's been happening to me lately, and I don't like it. I have never met a challenge that I can't face, and I am going to face this one head on. Good. That's good. We're going to need it. We're going to need a headstrong woman like yourself. Um, Mr. Johnson. Hello, I am William York, a thespian of Shakespearean theater, a master of the arts that is, uh, well, shall we say it's difficult to find work in that sort of uh, line of things. Um, there's only so many parts to go around and politics, uh, well, uh, I shouldn't really get into it, but there's this one fellow, Marco, who keeps sniping out those parts. I swear he must be bribing someone because I do a much better King Lear than he will ever pull off. But anyhow, I am forced to result, uh, to resort in order to make my living to, um, uh, I'm an artisan, uh, artisan grave digger. Art artisan grave digger. It's artisan grave digger. You know, do you really want to have your mortal remains being shoved into a hole dug by a backhoe? That's quite industrial, so vulgar. You need, you need a master's touch, real human hands wielding the shovel that puts you six feet down properly into your uh, place of repose. Absolutely, so, absolutely. Um, and that is how I make my living while occasionally, you know, spouting off uh, quotes. I try to make it a bit of a performance art for the mortars who might be coming by. Uh, understandably, I'll introduce myself. Hello, my name is uh, Father Matteo Castile. Yes, I am a man of faith. I've, I've spent my life in Mexico serving the people there as a servant of the Lord. I help all kinds, physically and spiritually, of course. It's it's not an easy task in the land where the church and the state are at odds. However, despite the challenges, I've always remained steadfast, faithful, and hopeful. Uh, however, recent uh, events, shall we say, have changed things for me. I've seen things, things that have made me question, well, well, let's just say I've been praying for answers quite a bit more of late. Uh, the, the, the things I've seen, how... How could God, with infinite love and wisdom and power, how could he, how could he let these things happen? Well, perhaps, perhaps there are indeed things, beings, which God has no power over. I, I, I don't know. I, I am here, though, in Arkham, hoping to find answers to these questions. And finally, hello. Oz? Yes, hello. <laughs> Uh, my name is Agatha Crane. I am a parapsychologist. Um, I have degrees in mathematics and in psychology, um, but I've decided to dedicate my life to studying things such as the extrasensory perception, things that are outside of our understanding. My husband, Wilbur, well, 
Well, he's stopped asking questions at this point. He is supportive in the way that only a husband can be, but he doesn't really appreciate my work, and no one really does. But I ensure that someone is studying things, and my philosophy is we must delve deep in order to understand. Of course. Um, I want to real quick thank thank uh, Plateau of Lang who cheered for us and uh, and Avenzi for the subscription. And um, let's uh, while we were getting into character and um, yeah, let's let's get going. Oz, take it away. All right. Well, uh, so we all start with these items, and we can choose to uh, hand them out however we want. So we've got the two by four, the Holy Cross, kerosene lantern, a medical textbook, and feed the mind spell. Uh, as the highest lore, I would like the feed the mind spell, please. So Absolutely. Just drop them on the table. Um, while you guys are taking care of that, uh, I did want to also mention a little extra fun thing that we have going on, which is um, the stream boss. So uh, what we are doing every time that the stream boss is defeated, you get to spin the wheel. And when you spin this wheel, you are going to land on something that will affect the game in some way. You're going to make the choice of which character gets the benefit or hindrance. So defeat the stream boss, and it is your right. Yeah, that's really awesome. Cliff, how can they defeat the stream boss? Or did you already explain that? Oh. You can defeat the boss by subscribing, uh, donating money or bits, uh, cheering with bits. So I, I forget exactly how the points break down. Uh, the bits are a one-to-one. How do they, uh, the donations or subscriptions affect the stream boss? They're much higher. I think donations are 200 per dollar, and then the... Uh, the fa- the subscriptions are 300 a piece and also there's like minus 5 HP for a follow so if you like what we're doing and want to see us do it more please ab- absolutely follow our channel um, also one thing to note is that uh, if you have Amazon Prime A you get a free Twitch subscription every month so you can go ahead and drop that in here uh, alternatively uh, you there's actually a promo going on right now where uh, you can get 500 bits for a single dollar and usually it's 100 bits per dollar so uh, now is a great time to to buy yourself a whole horde of bits and drop them and uh, try and defeat that stream boss. So, does everybody have their starting items? Yeah, I went, being a priest, I of course took the Holy Cross. Of course, yes. Okay. I was thinking I spell. would grab the Where'd two by four. I like the idea of the kerosene lantern. Where'd the Fina Mind spell go? Did anyone pull that yet? It was, I did. It was here a moment ago. <laughs> oh, I got it. It was on it. it. I'll take it. All right. <laughs> so, well, I was going to grab the 2 by 4 but if you need it, uh, by all means, you, you can take it. There's a medical uh, textbook left. We could have a roll-off. It seemed to be rather dry reading, but I suppose I'll pick it up. <laughs> you are, after all, an artisan grave digger, so you should uh, should know these things, shouldn't you? Uh, you also start the game with two clues, so make sure to grab yourself a couple of clues and uh, put them by your character sheet. So you do make a point to which I must concede there, my good man. She is, uh... handy. Okay. So... Uh, let's get started. Uh, as far as our character abilities, do we want to go over those two, or...? Um, I say, for the sake of time, we could, uh, do... I mean, we'll inevitably use them, right? If, yeah. So, um... Yep, yep, yep. All right, well then, let's begin. So, here is the intro to our scenario. As soon as the app wants to... There you go. <laughs> You slump into your office chair after another long day of interviews. You've been investigating the disappearances surrounding a wealthy neighborhood for two weeks, but 
you have nothing to show for it. The telephone rings. You answer and hear the panicked voice of an older man. Is, is this the investigator who visited the Vanderbilt estate? You flip through the files on your desk. William Vanderbilt, a wealthy bachelor, mother recently deceased. He has refused to meet with you, but you are able to speak to several members of his serving staff. This is Eugene, Mr. Vanderbilt's butler, right? I didn't know who else to call. The police think I'm crazy. Unnatural things have started happening here. I'm worried for my master. I, I think he's in danger. Please, help. Finally, a lead. You hang up the phone, throw on your coat, and leave for the Vanderbilt estate. All right. Well, it seems that I may be able to find some answers. The answers I'm looking for here. Your car rattles up the uneven drive, pulling to a stop in front of the estate. Several cars and carriages are parked along the drive. However, the butler who contacted you is nowhere to be seen. You knock on the large oak door to no response. Fearing something has happened, you try the handle, and the door swings open into a lavish entryway. Place the lobby tile and walls as indicated. You see it says walls, but... Nope. Sorry. All right, so there's actually um, one wall up here, and then one wall over here. All right, I got the, the tile down there. While you guys are placing stuff, so for those of you who aren't familiar with Mansions of Madness, you kind of sort of build the map as you go and there are all these different every time you unlock un discover a new room there are all these things you have to put in there so. Mm -hmm. so uh we need a wall over here and a wall over here it's indeed i don't seem to be able to walls. grab the walls out this Let's one see. okay Oh, wait. No, that was right. <laughs> this is the fun part. This is the, the most entertaining part of the game. No, just yeah. kidding. <laughs> um, you step watch us move tiles. All right. You step into the warmth of the house. A strange stillness hangs in the air, and your footsteps echo through the quiet entrance. Place your investigator figures as indicated. Oh, yes. Father Mateo is here. Cross outstretched in his arm. <laughs> <laughs> Using the, yes. the power of Christ to feel his way through. Is that butler? He called us here. He should have been here to meet us. Rita comes oh. in last and slams open the door and looks around. Mm. Doesn't say anything and then closes it very quietly. Agatha listens for sounds. <laughs> sounds that no one else can hear. There, at least we're somewhere of luxury, Jen. <laughs> and ladies. In the middle of the lobby sits a table with a small pile of papers. Place a search token as indicated. Okay. A table with a telephone sits at, at the top of the staircase on the right. Place a search token as indicated. A mysterious painting of a nighttime landscape looms over the lobby staircases. Place a search token is indicated. Okay. And last but not least, the silence is broken by the muffled shouts and sounds of crashing pots and pans coming from the door on your left. Place an explore token is indicated. I wonder what that was. Uh, the help is getting out of hand. You notice a shelf stacked with books and other objects nearby. Pushing it in front of the door could prevent someone or something from coming through. Place a barricade as indicated. Move myself. Okay. 
Three other doors lead into the mansion. Place explore tokens is indicated. Investigator phase. So, during investigator phase, um, the five of us each take two actions, and then uh, and then that ends our round, and then we go into mythos phase. All right. Well, uh, who wants to go first? We should decide. We should decide that, but not take too long to decide it. There was a dreadful noise. I wonder what that was. Yes, I'm curious about that as well. Tell us, let's go make sure the help isn't ransacking the place. All right, um, I'll go. Go ahead. Uh, Father Mateo would certainly go check that. He's not a very observant person, um, so he's probably not too concerned with with uh, the little tidbits lying around the room. So um, he's going to go uh, use one action to explore that door behind which the All noises right. were heard. A ruckus can be heard on the other side of this door, shouting, the crash of pots and pans, and is that hissing? Oh, gosh. <laughs> you want to explore? Uh, yes, I'm here for answers for the strange things I've seen and hissing sounds. <laughs> the door swings open to reveal a dining room in chaos. An aging man in a tailcoat scrambles through a serving window into the kitchen as he tries to escape a strange black creature writhing on the dining room table. Place, uh, discard the explore token and place the dining room tile and a wall is indicated. All right. The creature turns to face you. Its black serpentine body shifts and changes, playing tricks on your eyes as you try to focus on it. The creature unfurls its leathery wings and unleashes a blood-curdling screech. Spawn a hunting horror as indicated. Then suffer two horror will negates. Ah. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. To a good start. So, you need to roll your will. Yeah, someone get that haunting horror. I'm going to roll my will. Okay, so your will is how much? Five. Five? I've just okay. rolled it. Cool. And I've gotten you got one, one success and one but investigation. I can, uh, yeah, I can uh, use a, a, a clue to, to make that an automatic success, right? Correct. Or yeah, is when it you that spend I... a clue, you turn all clue results into automatic successes. So these stars are successes. The clues are what you can spend clues on to turn them into successes, and the blanks are are can't be used. Absolutely. So, I'm going to use the clue to make that a success. That'll give it two, so that I don't have to take any any damage. Any damage. Um, Nick Morgan, who I think just left, gave us a gave us a big old cheer there before he left. So I will, even though he's not here, say thank you, and um, get that stream Nick. boss dead, guys. Yes, he's only 90 HP to go. So because I am tearing through my my clues here, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to spin the wheel and get some more or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, in the center of the dining table, a carving knife sits embedded in a roast. Place the knife common item as indicated. An investigator can pick up the item uh, in his space as part of the trade action. And I believe the hunting horror was... Do you remember which space it was? Here? Or here? Oh, I don't. Because I accidentally hit continue. We'll put it here. This is more fun. Of course. Of course. <laughs> 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 because that's the part of the room I'm in. And it looks like the knife is actually in the same space, so... Whoa. Oh. You can fall down, but the table's real. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you can pick up the item uh, in... You can pick up an item in your space as part of the trade action. All right, The china right. cabinet stands against the wall, though it looks to have been repurposed to store all manner of knickknacks. Place a search uh, token. So Quick rules question. The mm -hmm. explore action, was that the action of Father Mateo's turn? That was one action, and then he's going to get a second action after, after Got that. It. Yeah. Okay. 
then uh, you can see a kitchen through the serving window. Most of the cabinets are ajar due to the food preparation, but one that has been locked shut with a chain catches your attention. Huh. Last hmm. but not least, in the kitchen you can also Weird. see that someone has left the refrigerator open. Water leaks out into a puddle on the floor. Kids. Weird. You spot the old man you saw climbing through the serving window, huddling in the corner behind the oven. Sweat beads off his <clears throat> brow and his eyes bulge in terror. Place a person token is indicated. This is Eugene, the butler. You may move one space into the explored area, Father Mateo. Oh, I may? I don't have to? <laughs> you don't have to, no. I am closing that horrid door and saying, well, uh, suspicions confirmed there are evil, horrible things in the world. <laughs> All right, so then what do you want your second action to be? Um, to, <laughs> to push that barricade up against the door. <laughs> <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> Here's gonna um, be, you're gonna, Rita, you're Rita going to kill like, the help. Probably we're supposed uh, to help the poor old man. <laughs> okay, okay, you're right. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 but if you're if you want to move the barricade, this is your turn, so you can move the barricade. It's just yeah, gonna take an I extra action for us to get through it. Yeah, I actually forgot that there was a person in there. Father Matteo <laughs> would not abandon um, <laughs> good. a person. He's he's definitely closing the door, but uh, you're not a very good priest. He's not going to abandon. <laughs> Um, what I'm going to do is, on my action... Oh, you are a priest, and conscience doth make cowards of us all, so you being the man <laughs> of conscience... Yeah, well, as my uh, as an action, I'm going to use my ability, which is that uh, I can... Another investigator within range will become focused uh, for the, uh, so that they'll be able to, um, to get more successes on the next turn. And uh, I, I suppose that he would turn to... Um, to uh, to Rita and say and say something horrible is in the other room by the power of God please help that man uh, Rita shifts her 2 by 4 on her shoulder and says I got it alright so Rita Young you get the focused condition um, so what this does is you can spend it I just gave it to you here um you can discard to convert all of your clues into successes. Um, it's basically an, it's like sp spending a clue, but without Kay. having to spend the actual clue. Okay. Okay. So, righty. all right. So that was Father Mateo's turn. Who's next? Well, then uh, Rita will run in and attack the creature. All right. So your first move is going to be to, I mean, your first action is going to be to move in. Yeah. All right. She pops open that door, moves into the dining room, and uh, is going to take a good old whack with the two by four. All and right. And a strength roll. Let's see. So, well, let's find out. Because depending, this is a heavy weapon, correct? Heavy weapon. All right. Whoa. A fury overtakes you. That such a creature can exist strikes you as an affront to nature itself, and you resolve to rectify the universe's terrible mistake. You beat down the creature with all of the strength you can muster. Test strength, and you need two successes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoop, that was a terrible roll. They're all blasting on top of each other. Okay, I got two You're successes. You're focused, remember. <laughs> I, I got two. Okay. Uh, if you pass, you channel your rage into a series of vicious blows. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage plus to your test result. So you said you got two, test two, and how much mm -hmm. damage does your two by four have? Two. All right. So it's taken two damage. Okay. It ha uh, four damage. It has mm -hmm. eight health total. Okay. Man, you just gave it a walloping. Heck yeah. Um, now. You, Rita, if you so choose, um, when you take a move action, you have movement points. So even though right. you took an attack action now, you can choose to move an addi your additional space, or in your case, two spaces, because you, um, Rita Young, can move three spaces as part of a move action instead of the usual two. Uh, but if you choose to do anything other than attack, which includes continuing your move in a space with a monster in it, then you have to do an evade check. 
against that monster. Okay. Okay. Um, do I have any details about this monster in terms of who it's going to chase after, or? Not that you can see. You know that it was harassing uh, Eugene, the butler. All right. Uh, Rita will, um, she's going to take her two by four. She whacks it with one end, whacks it with the other end. Um, and then she's uh, she's standing up on the table. She's going to uh, roll to the other end of the dining room table uh, and attempt an evade uh, and get herself in between Eugene and... Uh, and the uh, monster. All right. The creature grabs at you as you try to escape. Test agility, and you need two successes. Uh, okay, I got one, but I think I will. I guess I can use, use my focus to okay. make that do because I have a invest a clue as well. Perfect. So, uh, if you pass, you avoid its razor-like claws by scant inches. All right, so you can continue your move action. Um, I'm going to stay right there, right next to it, adjacent, in between it and Eugene. All right. All right, so that Sweet was... Sweet moves. Right, Come at so turn. Who's next? Let me see what my... No, why is. not dive in after the help? <laughs> Oh, I have a spell that also helps people become focused. Huh. Nice. All right. Can I grab for the knife there at the table? If you need to, if you want to do anything other than attack the monster on a monster space, then you do have to evade to be able to continue your action. Righty ho then. For the help. <laughs> so you're going to evade, or are you going to attack? Ev evade first. Okay, uh, let's see what it does this time. Because these, these actually uh, change, so it might not be the same test. Oh, very good. You attempt to escape the flying monstrosity through pure speed. Test agility, you need three successes. Oh, All man. Right. Well, we'll see what happens here. Whoa. That's no joke. Let me roll you all... Oh, two successes. Oh, nice. But you have one in your yep. station, so if you spend a clue, you can pass. And I will spend that clue. Goodbye, clue. All right, if you pass, you take the creature by surprise and outrun it. All right, so you can continue, and you can pick up the... Um, uh, I pick up the knife. Okay. Very good, sir. Now, now I will stay here and stab at thee. Actually, you currently cannot, because you your first action was to move in, and your second oh. action was to pick up the knife. All right, then. Do another of to try to move past it, but, you know, already survived one. That's fine. That's fine. I can take him. Uh, let's put him... Nice work, Preston. Very good. I good? think it's, it's best that we arm ourselves with some information first, so I'm going to take a look at the papers. <laughs> and the it's like here. this massive fight. The table. <laughs> yeah, they get it. What is your uh, maybe? What is your medical? Some clues. Okay. Uh, I'm just taking my turn. I'm not actually doing a move. I think I can just uh, spend an, an action to investigate or explore this search token. The uh, let's see. This is a the disheveled pile of papers sitting on the table. Yes. Okay. The papers what stacked on the table are inv invitations marked with today's date. The stars have come round to their positions in the cycle of eternity. The Vanderbilt Astronomy Association cordially invites you to a celebratory evening. Gain one clue and then discard the search token. My stars shine darkly over me. Yorick, what do your gravedigger eyes see? <laughs> By uh, clues, my good friend. Clues. Full is afoot here. All right, so you got yourself your clue. What's your second action? Uh. uh is that a desk up there? There's. Uh, yeah, this one here is a painting, and then this one is. I'm sorry, no. This is a desk. This is a painting. <laughs> I wanted to uh, do some further exploration. Okay. Uh, to get there, pick out 
To get there, you actually have to move, because you see these white lines are separating it. Oh the only God, one that I'll you move. can explore uh, here would be this, would be opening this room here. I guess I will move here and then search this. Well, that would end your turn. You do search and then you move. Never mind. I will explore then. Okay. So you're going to open this. Ah, it's mine. All right. The door leads to a small front room of the mansion. The light from the entry shines into the dimly lit office as you open the door. A lamp sits on a large wooden desk, casting long shadows across a mess of papers and books scattered around the room. Discard and discard the explore token, and we're going to place the office tile and a wall as indicated. Here's a wall. Boop. Yeah. The desktop under the lamp is cluttered with papers. The wall uh, goes up here. Across the room, a bookcase stacked with books and other items stands against one wall. Among the items, you spot something useful. Place the holy water common item as indicated. Yes. Ooh, father. I think uh, something's been left here for you. I take it I move one into the room not if yet. I like. It'll tell you if you can move in or not. Usually you can, but. Can't. Do we have the uh, holy water over here? I got it. Cool. You may move one space into the explored area. I think I shall. Okay. Avenzi in the chat still trying to convince me that I should have barricaded them the monster in there. Well, I should actually he's saying I should barricade them all in there with the monster now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, that's not proper, sir. Not proper at all. <laughs> well, let's see. I'm just, I'm just an old woman and I don't really have anything to defend myself. So... Uh, uh, Agatha is going to be searching to the left, to the right, looking for anything, and she's going to, um, she will move here and explore, let's see, what is, what was this? This was a, an end table holding a telephone. I'm going to, I'm going to try and call for help, assistance from the police. <laughs> You try the drawer, but the warped wood has left it stuck shut. Oh, when I opened, when I picked up the telephone, the line was cut. So I'm looking for anything, to, looking for anything. Uh, okay, I have to test strength. My strength is... Two. Good. <laughs> <laughs> One success. With a powerful tug, you open the drawer, causing the phone to go crashing to the ground. Inside the drawer, you find an item that looks like it has been sitting there for quite some time. Gain the magnifying glass common item. Yes. Mm. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. So the magnifying glass. Uh... Roll an additional die on observation tests. Nice. Okay, well, I have a magnifying glass. I don't know what this will be useful for, but... Oh, here we go. All right, uh, so that was everyone's turns. So now it's Mythos phase. So explain to everybody what happens during the Mythos phase as mm -hmm. we enter it. Uh, this enter. is where the game uh, reacts to us. Uh, ah, so we took our and turns, attack. and now the game is taking its turn. Monsters move and attack, effects start taking place, etc. So, for now, suddenly the temperature drops, and your breath mists in the air. No immediate effect. Oof. The Evil. hunting whore moves three spaces toward the investigator within range with the lowest strength. So, within range uh, means uh, not through doors. Doors are any any doors are out of range, so anyone in these spaces here are safe. So it's between Preston and Rita, who has the lowest. Oh, 
I have a four. I lose that. Yes, my, mine is five. I, I'm a pretty strong one. All right. Then it attacks How that investigator. You, Preston? So, Preston, it is attacking you. The creature <laughs> grabs you in its Wait, claws, no. attempting to drag you away. Test agility, and you need two successes. At least I have four there as well. One success, oh. one investigation. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use that last clue token. I need Do it. Too. Right. You don't need. To, you don't want that thing dragging you away. No. <laughs> if you pass, you hold your ground and bat the beast away. Each investigator must resolve a horror check against the monster within range with the highest horror rating. After all horror checks have been resolved, we tap the end phase button to continue. So this is within range is both Rita and Preston. Good thing so. I closed that door. <laughs> <laughs> so this is for both of you. The creature begins to clean itself, though clean is a generous term. It runs its claws over itself, scraping off chunks of dried blood and blistered flesh. Ooh. Suffer two horror, will minus one will negate your damage. Will minus one, eh? Ooh. That leaves me two. So I only roll two dice? Or yeah. rather... Well, is your will three. is your will three? It's four. Four. Then you roll three, because it's one, one minus for one. Me. All right, two successes. Okay, and how much for Preston? Well, only one, so I suffer. You suffer one horror. Yes. And if you suffer one or more horror, the sight and smell make you nauseous, become dazed. So the dazed Ooh. conditions over here. It... So the day's condition, if I remember correctly, you can't spend clues. <laughs> well, for a I'm good there. <laughs> 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 All right, and uh, Rita, well, you're okay. Good. All right, and then that ends this mythos phase. Goes back to us. Who needs clues right. when you've got a knife? Indeed, sir. Well, Father Mateo can't stand standing behind this he also can't stand up he just fell over <laughs> um, <laughs> he can't stand uh standing behind this door and listening to these people in danger so he's going to move through the door okay and your second and action say, i'm sorry and mm -hmm. steal himself um i think for his second action what he's going to do is is see that uh, Preston Fairmont is, you know, mildly shaken by by the holding his own, you know, of course, but but mildly shaken by this horror attempting to attack him, and and uh, he's going to look at Preston and say and and tell him, reassure him that that we are doing good things here, and and the Lord has our has smiled upon our purpose, and 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 we will. We will prevail against this beast. So give yourself a. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're oh, worth actually, you can't me. give yourself focus just yet. You to uh, to do so, you have to do an evade test against the hunting horror. Oh well, that, that is that an agility check? It could be. It usually oh, it could is. be. Okay, okay. Well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm role playing it, right? I'm not yep. min maxing here. So that's what I'm doing. All right. The creature lashes out at you with a rubbery black appendage and catches hold of one of your items. Test strength, and you need two successes. Oh, he he can't take the holy cross. <laughs> okay, strength, two successes, huh? This unholy being. Yeah, you need two successes. That's... All right, one, two, three, roll them, baby. Hey! Yeah. Nice. If you pass, you throw the creature off and pull yourself free. All right, so you succeed, and at your focusing. Yeah, you shall not pass. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I'll uh, say it the Lord. Say it the Lord. I'll um, and yeah, I'll reassure uh, Preston so that he can become focused. I I believe so. We have this. So focused. Um. It doesn't actually count as a clue token, so uh, so I would I've always played that you can uh, use your focus even if you're dazed. Okay, cool. Very good. Then I will stab at the beast. Then now that these words have assured me that it shall fall to me. All right. So attacking with the bladed weapon, right? Yes. 
With the strength of both hands, you drive the sharp edge deep into the beast. Test strength, and you need two successes. Very good, sir. Four there. Oh, you know, let's... <laughs> let's focus <laughs> ourselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so three successes now. All right. If you pass, you gruesomely wrench the blade free. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage, plus your test result. Ooh. Ooh. Three plus one, four more. All right. You've <laughs> defeated the monster. Ah, <laughs> thank you, sir. Your words are encouraging. The creature lurches to the ground, dead. Hearing the monster's final fate, the old man in the kitchen cautiously steps out. Move Eugene as indicated. Yoink. And I have the special character ability that whenever a monster is defeated, gain one clue. Oh, yes. nice. I assume yes. that does not mean it has to be defeated by me. No, it does not. Any time a monster is defeated. Good show. All right. So, uh, Preston, you still have one more action. One of thing that you can do is you can interact with Eugene. I shall. Good sir. The old man brushes himself off and tries to calm his shaken composure. Oh, you came just in time. Thank you so much for saving me. The name is Eugene. We spoke earlier today. Today, I have heard noises from the attic, but the door is locked. I think something bad is going to happen. Oh, are you okay, good sir? The butler puts on a weak smile, and the two of you chat for a minute. By the end of the conversation, he seems much calmer. Please, take this with you. It has always brought me luck. Gain the lucky rabbit's foot, a common item. Then every investigator in the dining room and the kitchen discards a horror. Huh. Very sure. good. Oh, good. You had a horror, didn't you, Preston? I did. I did. It's funny enough that when I gain an item, I can discard a horror. So. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could have discarded two horror that way. Yeah. Everything feels so much better when the monster is lying in a pool of its own, uh, whatever that liquid is, at, the, <laughs> at our feet. That was a fantastic blow. Uh, thank you, my dear almost comes naturally. I shall be a monster slayer from here out. Hmm. Give Sounds me. like everything's calmed down. Alright, did you give yourself the uh, lucky rabbit's foot? Give me a second. There it is. Okay. Alright, so that was your action. Who would like to go next? shall go next. I will explore this desk looking for further signs of clues and such. Okay. The desk is covered in random clutter with a small space cleared in front of the chair for working. You dig through the dense paperwork cluttering the desk, looking for anything of interest. Test observation. I am quite observant for an artisan grave digger. Who else is in search over there? Over there? I'm I'm up here. <laughs> I roll four well, dice. Someone else is searching this common items deck. I can pull nothing. All right, you got one success hey. so far. Do you want to go for a second success? Oh, sorry, what? that's me. I'll get it. All right, I so, like it, if I use a clue, I could automatically upgrade my investigation to a success, or could I just reroll all failures? No, you, you turn any clue results to successes. Hmm, I think I'll do that. I am a bit clue-rich at the moment. All right, so you're going in with I two th successes. I think what was, of... What was the yeah. item that you got? Uh, a lucky yeah. rabbit's foot, sir. As you shuffle Thank through you, the seemingly endless paperwork covering the desk, you spot a weathered journal that looks out of place amidst the mundane clutter. The cover of the journal is marked Lilith Vanderbilt. Gain the old journal unique item and discard this search token. The investigator holding the old journal can read through its entries by interacting with it in the app. So, uh, the unique item deck is this deck over here. I've got the card out. Okay, great. So, uh, so you can interact because you have the old journal? 
you just let me know if you want to spend an action to interact with it in the app. I think now seems like an opportune moment to do just that with my second action. Okay. The Journal of Lilith Vanderbilt. The pages are torn and frayed from hard use. You turn to an entry from me several years ago. William has gotten increasingly secretive since he started that astronomy association. He has been working on some secret project in the attic, and even installed a lock and alarm to keep people out. What he does not know is that I have found the wiring he installed in his bedroom at the back of the house. I can use it to unlock the door to the attic when he is gone. Gain a clue. Yes, and uh, the wiring where again? In his bedroom, and it's used to open the attic. I've discovered a most useful clue. There's wiring in the bedroom that may be used to unlock the special alarm and lock connected to the attic. Hmm. Well, that's something to note. Uh, the journal entries continue on for several months. You can continue reading as an action. So that's something for you to keep in mind since you already took two actions for future turns. Ooh, goody. Okay, and who's left? Me and Rita, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll, um... What's with this kerosene lantern over here? Oh, that's the one that I dropped. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> he threw it in the corner. He was trying to set the building on fire. <laughs> Light a fire. All right, I'm going to explore this here. The door leads deeper into the mansion. Ooh. The door opens into a dim hallway that winds through the heart of the mansion. Place the hall corner to and hall end tiles as indicated. Those are um, right. one by twos. Got You're it. doing the map tiles, right? Yep. Hmm. This mansion is quite large. It's called a mansion, good lady. It's so cold. <sighs> it seems I feel like this draft is coming from nowhere. It has no source. Must be paranormal in nature, then. It must you be. Should be careful. Wooden desk stands against the wall. Place a search token as indicated. Someone acting in a hurry has knocked over a stack of papers. And three doors lead to other rooms of the mansion. All right. You could, use the surrounding furniture. Yeah, you could use the surrounding furniture to barricade the door should the need arise. And I may move one space into the explored area. I think I will. And then my second action. Um, let's see. I guess I... Ooh, let's lock that. <laughs> yeah, I hadn't gotten there yet. Sorry. I got the other one. Okay, uh, I'm going to just move one space here so that I'm ready to search this pile of whatever. So, stream boss is uh, 85 HP left. So any- Yeah, somebody needs to kill it, especially all those people in there who keep <laughs> saying that I need to, you know, do all these different things or are predicting <laughs> that I'm going to die first. <laughs> <laughs> because if you become the stream boss, you get to spin that wheel, and there are lots of things on the wheel that could happen to us that are bad. <laughs> <laughs> and you get to choose who they happen to, so if you got it out for me, then. <laughs> uh, all right, Rita. All right. Um, I am going to search this corner over here, see what's going on. Okay, so that is the... China cabinet that has been repurposed to store all manner of knickknacks. That's the, the one. The cabinet holds candles, wooden statuettes, stones, beads, and other random objects. You try to discern what they could be for. Test lore. All right. I believe I have three lore. 
Well, let me double check. Hmm. Okay. You got one success, and one there's no success. use for clues here, so... As you dig through the objects, you begin to form a hunch that makes you uneasy. You've heard of objects such as these that have been found at the site of occult rituals. They could prove useful to your investigation. Gain the circumstantial evidence unique item and one clue. Okay. okay and then we discard that search token. Circumstantial evidence unique item. I already pulled it out for you. It's on the table. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, and a clue. Also, I think uh, Cliff just made himself the stream boss. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> I spent a dollar to get like 500 bits earlier today because there's a sale on it. You can only do it once, but I spent 100 of those 500 bits to s just kill steal my way into the, street, into the stream boss. <laughs> Despite Sky of Screens' somewhat slower attempt, I'm sorry, Sky of Screens. I just won the initiative roll that time. All right, All right. Yeah, so we're going to spin the wheel. <laughs> Tell us what what, what what fate Cliff gets to bestow upon us. You get to gain. Okay, so you get to give someone a clue. Oh, that's not so clue. bad. All right, all right. You know what? I've got a fair number of clues here, and I've been seeing our guest here, Andrew, putting them to such <laughs> Give that clue to Andrew. So, uh, thank you. Go you ahead and grab sir. yourself a clue. I shall. You take care of acquiring your own clue token there. All right, now, uh, after looking in the china cabinet, um, this door here doesn't have a search token. Is it searchable? Uh, no. No, okay. Then I'm gonna move, uh, move on into the kitchen. Okay. Did we miss a wall there, or what? Maybe. Um, Doorway, I think, is here. Yeah, there's. This is supposed to be an empty room. If there was a search token, it would have a. If you could go through the door, it would have a search token. I don't know why. Yeah, you can just Probably cover it with a wall, a wall. Whatever. Yeah. Um. I think Rita will move into this spot right next to this fridge. I want to see what's going on with this fridge. Okay. Someone has locked this cabinet by wrapping a chain around the handles. Oh wait, shit! You weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> no, no, no! I, I, I'll yeah. do it next turn. You didn't Sorry, give yeah. anything away. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that was everyone, correct? Yes, sir. All right. Yes. Oh, quick, quick uh, rules clarification question. Um, when you trade things, that's that's an, a, a specific action. That's not like a free thing you can do, right? Right. That is an action right. itself. Okay. Uh, did we? Okay, we did. Cool. Okay. Uh, <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. So, mythos phase. Sorry, I got lost for a second. The ground is marked with arcane symbols. This mythos event affects the investigator with the lowest will. Uh, three. Would certainly not be myself. I am the most will of all of us. Four. <laughs> Being William Yorick. The Shakespearean actor. I have a will find. Does anyone else see like the a big Willis? blue block? I'm like, what is this? Huh. I don't have that on my screen. Oh wait, no, I do. I have like this weird blue block over. Yeah, that's the uh, hand thing. Yeah, this is where that's your your is supposed to be. It's weird. Yes. <laughs> hmm. You okay. become a blue block. Oh no, it's not I a am... blue block. What is happening? Okay, whatever. Anyway, so who I has have the three. Lowest so, three. That is me. Okay. So. Crude etchings on the ground seem to lead you toward your destination. Test lore, and you need two successes. <laughs> My lore is oh, two. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, our stream boss, Prism hey! Shard, just gave him a. Oh! Well, then, none of that, then. Amazing. <laughs> if you pass, the arrows lead you where you wanted to go. That's where you it. want to go? Yeah. 
Nothing bad happened. The cutting out is only happening on our end and not on uh, All it was, I think he was having some sort of a uh, um, horror-induced in- hallucination. <laughs> no, look, okay, if you look at the stream. Like, oh, wait, what? Whoa. <laughs> some weird shit is happening. <laughs> okay. He's back. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, so, who wants to go next? I would like to go and move up into this room with Rita. And I'll say, Rita, you you handled yourself well in there, but I sense evil, more evil things coming, and you would do well to, to take with you um, something for protection. And I hand her my cross and give it to her. Well, Father, thank you. I'm... Uh, I feel very focused. Well, this is this. Yes, you should. <laughs> <laughs> but you're but out of character. You're not focused. You just have okay. my holy cross now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The holy cross gives you an extra die on will tests. Yeah. Uh, cool. Perfect. Thank you. All right. That was I'm, Father Mateo. I'll use it to the best of my abilities. I'm so. gonna go ahead and go next here with a fairly uneventful turn. And uh, Yorick will enter further into the room. Seeing a flask, uh, realizing that he could use a drink, I will acquire holy water. Then I will <laughs> use the rest of my movement to move back out of the office towards the exit. Uh, it's one space to move to that space, and then one space to move back. So that's your two moves, or your two yes. move points. And then I have an action to get the holy Correct. water, right? Yep. Oh, that's what I'm moving, doing. I thought you said you were moving out of the office into the lobby. No, no, I said I was moving towards it, gotcha, but gotcha. you know. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, um, Agatha is going to search this uh, this desk that's against the wall, being used as an end table. It has several large drawers locked by a combination. Yeah. Uh-oh. You attempt to unlock the combination lock on the drawers. Tap to attempt the puzzle using observation. So, my observation is... Pretty good. Four. Okay, so what that means is I have... um, I can... I have four guesses um, before I have to spend another action to try again. again. So, uh, the way that this works, this is a puzzle. Uh, We have to... I would have to figure out the three number combination it could be numbers one through five and it's a three number combination so and it plays kind of like the game mastermind if you've ever played it so first guess that means i have one number correct in the right spot let's try here nope how many guesses do you get four uh so i can spend another action to uh get another four guesses which i'm going to do so let's see we know that we have a one and a three. The two and a four are in there, so that means that the other number has to be five. So we'll try one, three, five. The clues mean that I have the numbers, but they're in the wrong positions. So let's try five, one, three. There we go. Nice. Uh, very good. You figure out the combination and the drawers pop open with an audible click. Inside, you find a grotesque statuette of an octopoid dragon and something else that might be of use. Gain the Elder Ward common item, the grotesque stone unique item, and one clue. I mean, oh, these are... Cha-ching! So many trinkets and baubles give me a bad, bad feeling. It was a grotesque what? Grotesque stone stone and Elder Ward. Oh, so it doesn't grotesque matter statue. which grotesque stone, right? Right, now. Okay, there you go. And a clue. Okay. Cool. So that was my turn. Very good. Let me continue this conversation with the butler. Okay. One sec. Okay. Eugene calmly tells you what happened before you arrived. Several robed figures entered the mansion through the side door and took Mr. Vanderbilt to the attic. 
Soon after they arrived, I could hear them chanting. Oh, where is that then? Those ruffians took Mr. Vanderbilt to the attic. You can get to the attic through the west door of the hall, but the door is locked. Mr. Vanderbilt likely keeps the key in his... Wait, I am not sure if he would want me trusting you with this. Test your influence. Oh, there's my good one. <laughs> yeah, this is the one you're going to roll poorly at because we totally expect you to win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got two Ooh. successes. You know what? There are. I could take that up to four. Do we think we want to stop it too? Well, we do have another way up through the attic. Okay. That's All right. True. We'll, we'll take two then. Okay. All right. Mr. Vanderbilt has a hidden office that he often retreats to. The door is hidden in the estate's library, which is through the east door when you get into the hall. It uses a very strange lock hidden behind a bookshelf. The butler instructs you how to open the secret door in the library. Gain a clue. Nice. Okay, so we have... So it seems like what he's saying is this here is probably the... Um, uh, yeah. The yes. office. And I will take my second action to move one and then two to head that direction. Okay, <laughs> Well then all, we have a way to go. This way. Okay. Who's left? Rita, right? Yes, Rita's left. Uh, I'd like to investigate in this room right here. Okay, the refrigerator has been left cracked open, leaking a pool of water onto the floor. All right. Let's you pull open out. the heavy refrigerator door. Inside, you see a mass of pallid flesh, slick and fragrant with the stink of the ocean. It has the shape of a tube, but surmounted by many writhing tentacles. Its eyes are fixed and dead, staring and seeing too much. You push aside the raw squid and find something useful. Gain the whiskey common item. <laughs> uh, Rita shudders as she reaches her hand in between the rubbery tentacles and then takes out and says, God, I hope this is bourbon. <laughs> All right. And you got a second bourbon. Action. Did someone say bourbon? Another room in the, in the building. <laughs> bourbon? <laughs> no, no, I'm out. Bring that along. That was a common item, correct? Yeah. Oh, you got it for me. Thank you. Yeah. All right, and uh, what would you like your second action to be? Hmm. Well, I think I'll uh, complete my exploration. And then next turn, I'll get out of here. So okay. I'm going to cautiously approach the uh, locked cupboard, but uh, can't quite get to it yet. All right, so I think that's everybody. Think so. phase. say this this game is already way more fun than call of cthulhu <laughs> <laughs> no no you've just not played with the right game master sir <laughs> the corridor stretches on forever lined with countless doors this mythos event affects the investigator in an alley or hall who has suffered the most horror i think i'm the only one in a hall so so mm -hmm. i see the corridor is stretching on forever and i'm just like oh no not again. Oh, no. <laughs> you open door after door, trying to find your way. Test will, and you need one success. Okay, so I have a will of four. Oh, like that. Two successes. Nice. All right. If you pass, you find yourself back where you started. <sighs> and everything's back into place. A robed figure appears from a secret door and begins searching around. Upon seeing signs of other people, the figure yells, There is someone here! You hear a muffled response from another part of the estate. Get rid of them! Spawn a cultist as indicated. What? Wow. Ah! It's my reaction. <laughs> yeah, literally, this cultist just like came out of a, a secret door in the it's office. Right next to me. <laughs> uh -oh. Looks like you'll have another grave to dig, William. 
Only if he is a paying customer. I'm an artisan gravedigger. I do have my standards. <laughs> Artists deserve to get paid. The cultist moves up to two spaces to be adjacent to as many investigators as possible. Um, so he's just going to... That got it to me, I think. He's already adjacent to as many as possible. There's no way to... Um, yeah. There's no way to get him anywhere else. Then it attacks the adjacent investigator that suffered the most horror. So that's going to be you, William. The oh cultist, no! The cultist hood slips back, revealing the face of an old friend. With a gesture, your friend... Hi. <laughs> with a gesture, your friend invites you to follow. Test Will. You need two successes. Well, Will happens to be my first name and the first name of my great hero, the... The, the the one of course Shakespeare who and he carries on for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled one too few dice here, so yeah, do it again. Let me go okay. another one there. Okay. Uh, I am gonna spend a clue to succeed at this. All right, so that's three total. Uh, you, you must pass... be the cultist I've been reading about in this journal. <laughs> <laughs> if you pass, you shake off the hallucination. I'm not my friend at all. You, you know should... what? As a matter of fact, I do believe, induced by potent circumstances, that thou art mine enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Each investigator must resolve a horror check against the monster within range, so it's going to be William Yorick against the cultist. And the, the cultist smiles at you, almost pleasantly, teeth rotting and black. Suffer a face-down horror, Will negates. So test Will. I will and test as long as you get one success, which you did, you don't get any horror. All right. My spirit will is resolute. All right, back to investigator phase. And so pleased I was able to work that particular quote in. That was one of the more obscure <laughs> ones I didn't think I was going to find nice. space for. <laughs> Cross it off that list here. <laughs> So, who wants to go first? Well, I think that Rita would probably react to the situation by very quickly checking out this cabinet and then run towards the commotion. Okay. Someone has locked this stretch. cabinet by wrapping a chain around the handles. The chain is sturdy, but the cabinet doors are made of thin wood. You think you could break one of the doors off. Test strength, roll two additional dice if you have the crowbar. I do not, but I am quite strong. All right, so we got three successes. Nice. Perfect. I assume you don't want to spend a clue for a fourth. I don't think that seems necessary. Instead the of flimsy opening wood, the doors, you just smash it. <laughs> the flimsy wood cracks as you pull the cabinet door off its hinges. Gain the lucky cigarette case, common item. <laughs> Ooh, a lucky cigarette case. Just what I was hoping for. <laughs> What's that commotion? Um, all right, so I'll grab the cigarette case and I will then run one, two, three spaces because I'm Rita. I can, I'm a track star. <laughs> and uh, get out of there. I put it out for you. This should be going. Thank you. We're a lot of stuff. Well, uh, Rita, I suppose is. Not in need of my help anymore. Um, <laughs> so Father Mateo will follow her out, move two into that same room as her for one action, and then um, I suppose he'll go and check the hallway. He's kind of just... Um, you can move. Yeah, he... uh, you can move to Preston's space and then one space into that hallway, and that way you'll be ready to... That's where I will go. Preston, where are you headed? Up to the west hallway. Over to this door. This is secret place the butler told us of. Hmm. I'll ponder whether or not to open this door. The last time I did, it didn't end so well. <laughs> uh, who wants to go next? I believe I shall. York will come heading out of the uh, set. 
be up alongside Preston. And reading furiously, I'll spend my second action to uh, go ahead and read the journal. Left the cultist behind. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I will read the next the entry in the old Lilith Vanderbilt's journal. Okay. You flip forward several months through the entries. The writing gets increasingly frantic and haphazard. A photograph falls from between the pages. The photos show several men in fancy suits and reads Vanderbilt Astronomy Association. There are also some strange markings on the photo that might help your investigation. I found William's books, occult garbage. William's friends threatened me again. I fear not for myself, but for us all. Suffer one horror and gain the photographic evidence unique item. Now, when you suffer a horror, when it, if it doesn't say specifically face down, it is face up. So you will take whatever effect is on that horror card. Woohoo! They get photographic evidence. You got it out for me. Yeah. Just give yourself a horror. So you want me to draw it for you? I already yeah, you got take it out care for of the you. Oh, you did. Okay. It's over by you, your thing. Oh, I meant the horror damage. Oh, I didn't get horror damage. Here you go. All right, so we're going to flip your horror and see what you got. You have Nyctophobia. You have to keep this face up. Whenever you end your turn in darkness, you're going to suffer suffer a horror. Is what it said. There's a hand over it. You suffer yep. a face down horror. So there currently are no dark spaces in the mansion, but if there were, know that uh, darkness scares you. All right. Uh, there's a cult back there. Stay out of the dark. The dark has eyes. Eyes in the dark. The madness uh, continues for pages. Say. But right at the end, a single entry stands out, written in a steady hand. It will not be long now. When I pass, I want my ashes spread along the coast. I have always loved the sea. Gain one clue. Oh, yes, but uh, there, there's so many secrets in this book. I must have time to read it. He interrupted me. Let's see. Um, it was my turn. All right. Agatha Crane is going to explore this way. A wood plaque marked library is fastened to the center of the door. I wonder what's behind there. The door creaks on its hinges as you push it open to reveal the library. Bookshelves line the walls. Discard this explore token and place the library tile in a wall as indicated. Oh, good. Some research. We must be able to learn something in here. Books often dictate. One person's book preferences usually dictate their interests. I believe you opened the door that went to where the cultists went to. Oh no, there's a wall there. There can't possibly be a secret door connecting them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, didn't you just... Never mind. Yeah. A pile of research materials that have been recently used sits on a small wooden desk. Place a search token. And a robed figure is pushing a bookshelf back into place. Oh, robed figures. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I should have the just left that out. <laughs> the figure shouts with alarm upon seeing you. Spawn a cultist in the library is indicated. Then suffer a horror, will negates. I uh, said, mm, will is four. Oh, God. All right, negated. Double the cultist. Uh, All right. There's I may one move in there. One space into the explored area. Uh, Agatha, upon Let's seeing see. the robed Probably. figure, goes, <gasps> "Who are you?" Uh, and she uh, she's going to um, instead barricade the door. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Why not? Sounds quite wise. Yes. <laughs> barricade right there. Yep. 
Agatha quickly just grabs the furniture and knocks it down in front of the in front of the door. <laughs> Stay back. What was I'm that? warning you. Agatha, are you okay? There's someone else here. This mansion is swarming Cultists. with them. All have been invited. Uh, they all received specific invitations. I think they must have done something to the person the butler works for. Mr. Vanderbilt. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Vanderbilt's wife or daughter or mother or sister or whatever is a crazy woman. All right. Journal here. It's quite good reading. <laughs> uh, I mean, actually, I find myself driven to read it despite being chased around by cultists. <laughs> uh, Preston, I think you're the last one, right? Has Preston gone yet? I don't think uh, so. No, I have not. Um, in fact, let's see. I will, uh, I will, before I leave this, I shall check this painting on the wall. Mysterious painting of a landscape under the night sky overlooks the lavish entryway. Shadowy figures can be seen amidst the landscape. However, something in the stars catches your interest. Test lore. Oh, good. No, wait, no, not good. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. There's the Big Dipper. Two. <laughs> Two. <laughs> ah, out of Ryan. You identify several of the specks of light in the sky as planets. They're all occupying the same section of the sky as if coming into alignment, not unlike the planets in the sky tonight. Beneath the painting, a plaque reads, in memory of Lilith Vanderbilt. Gain two clues, then discard oh, the search oh. token. Lilith, that's the person whose journal I've been reading. Lilith <gasps> Vanderbilt, I'm pointing at the pages right here. <laughs> you said they scattered her ashes to the sea. That's what her requests were. I don't know if they were actually carried out. Out. We find out more, sir. And then I heard cultists, so I will one and two. You said cultists. I have your back now. Oh, thank goodness. Strapping young man such as yourself. And I'm just, I'm, I'm pointing a shivering finger in horror. Is that everyone? Yes. I think so. Yep. I haven't been keeping track. I hope someone else has. <laughs> With so many drawers and cabinets, surely you'll be able to find some evidence here. This mythos event affects the investigator in a bedroom or office with the lowest sanity. I don't think that's anyone, right? Ah, uh, correct. Awful place. No effect. The cultist, uh, so starting with this one, is going to move up to two spaces to be within range of as many investigators as possible. So here we go. Bring it. <laughs> And then it attacks each ah! investigator within range. So that's going to be Rita and William Yorick. I'm oh, trying to read York. here. The cultist mumbles well, a Horatio. dark chant. You feel something writhing within your skin, opening old wounds. Suffer Ugh. face down damage. Strength minus one negates. Ugh. Right, let me see. Let me see what useful things I've got to prevent this. I'll spend a clue to upgrade. I know what you've been up to. I have the journal that Lilith wrote. Won't take me alive or dead, for that matter. Especially that. All right, I'm gonna use my lucky cigarette case to uh, convert an investigation to a success. So that's three successes. I actually only needed one to um. Whenever it's to mitigate damage, it's you just okay. need a number of successes equal to the damage you'd be taking. So in this case, it would just that be happens one. automatically with the cigarette case. So, oh, I had to spend it. Oh, it's not like an exhaust or anything for me. It says once per round you can convert a clue. So, oh, so it is exhausted. Yeah. I that? Yeah. It okay. Would be a no. Once per round thing. Uh, then you flip a damage face up. Does anyone have any damage? No. No. Yeah. All right, uh, just FYI, if anybody takes damage equal to their damage rating or sanity up to their sanity rating, let us know because bad things will happen. <laughs> hey. All right, then this cultist up here is going to move two spaces towards the nearest investigator, which in this case I can't right now because of the barricade. So what the barricade does is uh, it needs to roll 
let's see, equal to its toughness, which, uh, I forgot which number that is. I think it's this one in the back. Yeah. It's gotta and be, it, it's the only number. Yeah, it rolls two. Okay, so it rolls two dice, and it needs two successes to get through a barricade. So. Oh, whoops. There we go. No! Oh. Uh oh. All right, so it bashed through the barricade. What? So delete the, uh, so we delete the barricade. But not the cultist. Not the cultist. <laughs> um, all right, so it gets through. And it's going to attack the investigator in its face with the highest strength, which is me. The cultist oh, swings a staff at your ankles. The ground rushes up at you as you're knocked off your feet. Suffer two damage, agility negates. My agility is three. I mean, it's a good thing I do yoga. <laughs> <laughs> I have to stay spry. Ooh, yes. Nice. Oh, nice. You do negated. yoga. <laughs> <laughs> Each investigator must resolve a horror check against the monster within range with the highest horror rating. So, um, who would do right. that? So, in this case, uh, Rita and Will are doing a test against the cultist, and then everyone else, so Preston, Father Mateo, and myself, are doing against another cultist. So, let's start with. Man, Oz, what are you doing rolling to break that barrier down? Good job. <laughs> uh, is this a Will test? Let's see. Uh, all right, so this is going to be for for uh, William York and Rita Young. The cultist begins a slow chant, soon joined by other cultists throughout the area. Suffer a face-down horror for each cultist within range. Will negates. So you just need one yeah, success. That would be good for me. We'll spend a clue to upgrade my investigation results to a success. Okie dokes. Don't forget about that holy cross I gave you, Rita. That's right. Nice. Rita holds up the holy cross. Wow and says, uh, the Lord rebukes you! The cultist. <laughs> uh, in the hallway, the cultist raises a hand and one of your items transforms into a deadly viper. Test observation and you need two successes. What if I don't have an item? I don't know. Who? I guess this doesn't affect you then, yeah, because it's going to be drop a random item in an adjacent... Yeah, so don't worry about it. Effect? We need one for that. Yep. No, you need two successes, actually. Ooh. So you're gonna... Yeah. So you fail, right? Because you only got one. Yep, I only got one. So a random item. Right. If you fail, yeah, Which you fling the object away. Uh, just me and... Um, and I think I get a fifth because of the magnifying glass. One I have my objects upside down. Someone please choose one to discard in that space. Uh, I will spend a clue to turn that to three successes. So if you pass, you disregard the pitiful illusion. <laughs> I like my Pitiful knife. illusions. You're a charlatan and nothing more. All right, back to us. All right, first. Father Mateo. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Father Mateo is going to uh, turn around and say, Agatha, the whole, keep your faith strong. We will prevail. And focus you. Yes. Thank you. Yep. Also, while you're taking care of that, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sh shuffle through this stack of papers or something. <laughs> I'm going to search right here. Okay. A stack of papers has been strewn about the floor. Amidst the mundane paperwork, you find a weathered page covered in a strange script. Someone has scrawled a note in English across the top of the page. Speak these words for great power. What do you want to do? Ooh. There are forces at work here beyond what I am I know about, but uh, I clearly there are there are things that I do not understand. I will reluctantly, without even realizing he's doing it, begin uh, trying to understand the words and speak them out loud. So you're reciting the script. Yeah. What is this? 
The Eldritch words take on a life of their own as you speak them, uh -oh. reshaping your mind with new understanding of the script you are looking at. The lights flicker, and you hear a whisper in your ear. Power comes with a price. Gain the Wither spell. Oh. Oh no. Nice! Ooh, spooky. <laughs> I have... Father Mateo is doesn't know what to think. Okay, did you get it? Mm-hmm. Cool. All right, so that was Father Mateo. Um, hmm. It could be in or adjacent to an enemy to attack them. In or adjacent to an enemy's location to attack them. You have to be in a space if you're doing a melee attack, if you're doing a ranged attack, which I don't think anyone has a gun yet. Um, that is, you need to be within range. All right. I'll wait and see what else is going to happen for now. Well, then. Elsa uh, hasn't gone yet. I haven't gone, I, I think. Do it to beat him down. I think I'll uh, do my attack then. And, okay. Uh, there was all your turn after that. What are you attacking what about with? about the two by four? You pivot and drive your hip into your opponent. Test agility. You need two successes. Oh, whoops. I rolled five. I will redo that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oops. Oh, that would have been a good roll. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. Okay. <laughs> I only have four agility. I did five again. You did six. <laughs> I did six. <laughs> you just can't I'm a stop cheetah. Clicking. That's a problem. Okay, let's do this all together now. One, two, three, four. <laughs> all right, you got two. Excellent. If you pass, you knock your opponent prone and bring your weapon up for a final blow. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage plus your test result. So we've got two, nice. and how much is your two by four? Two. All right. Uh, so Rita, she turns the bottom half of the two by four, hits him on the chin, and knocks him down, and then smacks him down on the head. Excellent. You have a second action. Do you want to attack again? Finish him off? I certainly do. I will attack with agility and the correct number of dice this time. Hmm. <laughs> do you have a clue? Uh, let's, uh, let's clue it up. All right. Indeed. So Seven, then three, suffers six, damage six. equal to the weapon's damage plus your test result. He dies. Man, so you can oh. describe how you, uh, how you kill him. Um, so, uh, uh, knock him up, upside the chin, down on the head, and I take the, the two by four vertically and knock it straight down on the back of the base of his skull, crushing it. God. <sighs> And it makes sort of a sound like a like an egg cracking. Nice. <laughs> All right, Yorick is going to back away from that horror <laughs> and uh, continue. Uh, I don't know, escaping the harsh results of the reality around him by doing some light reading. I'll read more of Lilith Vanderbilt's journal. You find nothing more of interest in the journal's pages. <laughs> Damn it! So that's not an action. Good. Then I will explore the next room. Here goes. A weathered door stands at the end of the hall. You hear bizarre noises from the other side. When you try okay. the handle, you well find the door is locked. A keyhole sits beneath the brass door handle. So that's not an action either. We... Oh, uh, we need a key. Uh -huh. Must I have another point. movement point. Then I'll move here. That might be the entrance to the attic, right? And we could. And then, there's supposed yeah. to be some way to open that door or something. I believe I'll so. Can... And like she's trying to dodge this cultist. <laughs> you suspect the unmarked door leads to a bedroom. Lorit, that's the bedroom we've been looking for. The door opens into a bedroom that seems modest compared to the decor in the rest of the mansion. Place the bedroom two tile as indicated. Okay. 
Near the door, a small writing desk holds an immense book. Place a search token. In the far corner, a large chest sits next to the master bed. Place a search token. You may move one space into the explored area. I totally will. Okay. Agatha, who has no weapons... Unless you have me uh, jump in front of you, my dear lady. Okay, dokes. Oh. I sh have at you, cultist. <laughs> and I stab him. <laughs> How about you, knave? Your opponent catches your wrist. Your blade stopped mere inches from its flesh. You struggle to press the blade home. Test strength, and you need two successes. Alright, so bad. Nice. Two successes. If you pass, your enemy's defense gives way, and your weapon bites deep. The monster suffers damage equal to your test result, plus one. So that's Ooh, two. You know. Three, you know what? I'm spending a clue on that. Four, five. Yes. Nice. Okay. And then, so that was your two actions. Uh, seeing you uh, drive the knife deep. Uh, Agatha, for the first time in her life, gets rough, and she's going to uh, try and kick yes. this, kick this cultist in the shin. Your foe swings at you, and you manage to catch its arm. You press down hard, forcing it against the joint. Test strength. You need one success. My strength is two. I'm a frail old woman, but um, let me see. But you've been you've been inspired by the words of the priest. Yes. Oh. <laughs> One success, I got it. <laughs> nice. Excellent. If you pass, the joint gives with a crack and the arm falls limply to the side. The monster suffers three damage. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> shit, Agatha. Uh, this, this yoga thing you speak of is powerful. <laughs> you go, Golden Girl. I need to come to that class with you sometime, Agatha. <laughs> oh, dear. Sometimes I don't even know my own strength. <laughs> Agatha, you've, you've killed a man. Nothing in comparison to what goes on in this house, I'm afraid. But all life is precious. Sometimes we must make concessions. I've lived a long life. This... I'm already damned. Uh, I'm gonna... Use my second. And with that, she dramatically enters the library <laughs> and closes the door behind her. <laughs> well then. Uh, is that everyone? I believe so. I believe so. Okay. Uh, so Rita's still in the lobby wiping blood off of her 2 by 4 <laughs> <laughs> So reminder uh, to our audience to, you know, cheer and donate and stuff, because that lets you spin the wheel and give somebody a bonus or a detriment in the game uh, every time that we defeat the stream boss. And also, yeah. bits are really cheap. You can buy like 500 of them for a dollar if you have Amazon It's a limited Prime. time offer, too. It's uh, So now's the time to get the bits. Uh, 99 cents. Yeah, a dollar for 500 of them. Normally, it's like a one-for-one one sort of thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A dollar for 100. For a timeless, dreamlike eon, Rita Young wanders through a perfect world where nothing, not even the donuts, tastes right. Rita Young suffers two face-down horror. <laughs> not the donuts! <laughs> <laughs> What's the wrong with these donuts? It truly is evil in this place. <laughs> Alright, so take two face down horror. Two face down horror. Wow, All just right. straight up? Yep. There was no... There was no test. Whoa. The longer the longer that we take, the worse that the mythos events become for us. Uh. Uh, a robed figure appears from a side door and begins searching around. Upon seeing signs of other people, the figure yells, There is someone here! Get rid of them! Spawn occultist is indicated. Okay. 
The robed figure sneaks into the dining room and comes face to face with Eugene. The butler yells in fright and flees into the entryway. Move Eugene as indicated. The cultist is going to move two spaces toward the nearest investigator. So Going after up, Eugene. Going after Rita. Whoops. Yeah, that'd be me. And he tripped. <laughs> <laughs> and stage <him. laughs> Then it attacks the investigator in its face with the highest agility. So that's going to be Rita. The cultist jabs with a staff, but you catch it. A struggle ensues. Test strength. You need two successes. Oh, I'll test strength. Psychotron, thanks for this Twitch Prime subscription and Sky Screens also for the, yes, for the bits. Yes, thank you. If you pass, you release the staff at a critical moment and the cultist tumbles backward. That must have been why I tripped. The monster suffers <laughs> one damage. Each investigator must resolve a horror check against the monster within range, so that's just Rita against the cultist. Correct. All right. Okay. Rita's just stuck in the lobby like a <laughs> like a kung fu fight scene. People just keep coming yeah. in. And... <laughs> yeah. uh, this is Will. Yes, the cultist slams a steel shod staff into the ground and the ground splits open. A great eye bulges up from the opening, then shifts his gaze upon you. Oh, nice. All right, so you're going to... Okay. And then flip one horror face up. This is regardless of your oh, test. Oh, boy. This is when stuff starts going down. Oh, Paranoia. Oh. All right. Every noise makes you startle and jump. Even your companions unnerve you. Whenever you end your turn within range of another investigator, flip one horror face up. Good lord. Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, within range, does that mean within one space? or Within three spaces without uh, doors. Line of sight. Yeah, doors block line of sight, so they it blocks range. So right now you're fine, but if you were to enter this hallway, for example, then you would be within range of two people. Rita looks all right for the time being, but uh, she's given Eugene a little bit of sad eye. <laughs> you stay out there, lovey. Handle handle those cultists. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Who you call him, lovey? All right, back to investigator phase. I'll go. And I'm going to join Yorick up here. Yorick. <sighs> hey, thanks, Avenzi. You, uh, you and I are... Are men of similar mind. I, I believe there are strange things in this world that, that need to be explained. But I'm gonna check this desk first. <laughs> <laughs> I believe some answers may be found. All right. So a modest writing desk sits in the corner of the bedroom, holding a massive tome that almost covers the desk's entire surface. You pull a creaking wooden chair up to the desk and attempt to decipher the archaic scribblings on the tome's pages. Test lore. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four. I will test my lore. <laughs> one success, unless you want to spend a clue to make it three. Man, I only have one clue. Um, but why the heck not? <laughs> All right. <laughs> As you slowly piece together the script, it reveals the directions to some vile ritual meant to summon beings from realms beyond reality, as well as instructions on the magics to contain them. Gain the arcane manuscript common item. Oh my god. Father Mateo is going to turn into a shadow priest. <laughs> <laughs> right, you do some reading there. I'll wander over here and investigate this chest by the bed. There. I'm Take my turn. Some very interesting things here york all right a heavy chest york sits in the corner near the bed you notice scuff marks on the floor that indicate that it is regularly moved i'm investigating it you drag the chest across the wooden floor and hear an audible click you look under the chest to see a small alcove in the floor holding a jumble of electrical wiring you seem to have triggered something and can now hear a steady ticking from within uh-oh. You attempt to rewire the device to stop the timer. Tap to attempt the puzzle using observation. What's your observation? I think it's a four. Let me double check. If a bomb goes off with me in here with you. 
Yes, do I need to roll for that then? No. Uh, you have four moves to do this puzzle. Um, oh boy. So the way that this works, oh. this, is a, this is a kind of like a lock picking thing. So you need to, uh, every move that you make is to move a, a piece. So I can, these can move up down and then these, which I can't currently move, but like these, these move side side. And your goal is to get this gray piece here into the alcove on the right. Okay, can so only make that four moves. Piece that is to the right and uh, toward the bottom of the gray piece. No, not that one. This move one? two pieces to the left. They don't move to the left. There. These move up, up and down. Yeah, move that one up all the way, right? Here? Or it does. No, I need that to stay, right? So hold on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, move uh, that up all the way. Yep, that's my first move. Move that up all the way. Here? No, okay. that yes, one. Sir. Yep. You got this in four moves. I, you got this. Then, yes, that one. Move it to the left all the way. This one? Yep, that's my second move. Move it to the left all the way. Oh, you, you're going to be really no. short. No! Oh, yeah, I can't move the gray one. Can you spend a clue to move? Is that allowed? Oh, yes. Uh, you can spend a clue to get an additional move. Okay, I think I'll need to do that. So, yeah. the, this piece that's kind of in the middle... Mm-hmm. Two to the right of the gray piece. Move it down all the way. Okay. Oh, nuts. I shouldn't have moved that first one. All right, whatever. Uh, okay, it's so that one that I f- moved first. Move it back down. Well, you had to move it. So no, you, you had move, to, uh, yeah. Yeah. You had to move this one okay. over here on the left. And I will spend a clue to move the gray piece into the spot. With one clue remaining. York, what have you found? It just shosh. Click. Oh, I got it. <laughs> you definitely cut wires and twist others together to reroute power. As the ticking stops, you hear a click from the other side of the wall out in the hallway. Gain a clue and then discard the search token. I got a clue that clue I back. spent to get the clue. It's fantastic. And I will move, use my other movement point to move back towards the entrance of the bedroom. Okay. Nice. All right, so it seems like we've unlocked the attic. Um, but in the meantime... I hope the attic's been unlocked, yes. Uh, but everything I've got in the journal that? suggests... <laughs> sound wise, yes, unless you believe that Agatha still needs your assistance. I, I, I believe she's in her natural element in the library, so... <laughs> <laughs> I, heard some, I heard some shouting from the, lo- from the lobby where... I'm going to move one, two, and investigate that explore. See if we're unlocked now. All right, you hear bizarre noises from the other side. Are you sure you want to explore? Of course. <laughs> As you open bizarre the door, noises. <laughs> we'd be disappointed if they weren't going on. As you open the door to the unfinished attic, the stairs and walls creak as if exhaling a breath of dusty air. Everything in the room has been pushed to the sides, and a massive circle of runes has been carved into the floor. Discard this explore token and place the attic tile and a wall as indicated. Alright, I'm on it. I got it there before you. Which attic was that? Attic's a two by two. Ah, that would be why. Yeah. Do you have the wall ready to go? I got it. Get, get out of here, you amateur yeah. map person. <laughs> 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 so while that's going on, uh, let's see, how much that HP is... does this guy have left? I think we have, we're like halfway down on the HP on the stream boss. So whoever knocks it down one more time, we get to spin the wheel. Yeah, knock, knock it down. Kill it. Destroy that stream boss. Don't forget, you become the stream boss. That's an added benefit. That's a benefit right You're there. The one that Your gets name to is... choose who gets the no. benefit or detriment. Don't kill me. I'm so peaceful. Oh, yeah, kill, that, kill that boss. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love you, Cliff. 
Okay. Why would you ever want to harm me? On the far side of the attic, furniture and other random items have been pushed up against the wall. Among the items, you spot something useful. Place the axe common item, as indicated. It's a trick. Get an axe. Mm, I think it's over here. Yeah. Two robed figures stand across from each other over the ritual circle, Goodness. chanting. The one nearest to you seems to be in some kind of trance and hardly acknowledges your approach. Spawn occultist is indicated. The same space as the axe. All right, I got it. <laughs> the other figure lowers the hood of his robe and points at you with an ornate dagger. What are you doing on my property? You are meddling in things you do not understand, and you will die for it. Spawn a priest of Dagon is indicated. This is William Vanderbilt. You're good. Oh. Uh, priest DM. of Dagon, that does not sound safe. <laughs> oh, priest. Oh boy. All right. <coughs> William Vanderbilt begins chanting a heinous incantation that causes reality to warp and shift. A terrible fish-like creature Ooh. slips through the fabric of reality and into our world. Spawn a deep one is indicated. Oh. Oh shit. Elsewhere in the mansion, a second horrifying fish oh, thing Lord. breaches the barrier between worlds. <laughs> Spawn a deep one is indicated. We've got one in the office and one uh, in Agatha's space. Well, that's rad. <laughs> Beginning would look a lot like fishmen. <laughs> Where'd you get that color, yeah, Bobby? It all. Asks Opti. I'm Opti. I made it. I made it myself. You like it? It's pretty good. I I even made it so that it can be easily uh, uh, taken off and Oops. and put back on and. Hmm. Somehow we got the eternal deep one on the board there. <laughs> wait, wait, I can get rid of that thing. Yeah, I knew exactly. Sky of Screens dropped done. some bits on us. Yes. Bits, 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 bits. Excellent. We're close to defeating the stream boss one more time, which gets you to no! spin the wheel. The once upon Don't a table on the wheel. You're not just defeating any stream boss, you're defeating. Uh, Cliff. So. <laughs> I'm the boss, yeah. You can't defeat me. The pungent scent of rotting fesh, fish precedes the fish. third amphibious monstrosity that slips into our world with a splash of salt water. Spawn a deep Oh no! Indicated. Rotting, rotting fesh! <laughs> Not the fesh! Oh! Fesh! Oh man, what <laughs> is happening? The ritual circle on the ground is scattered with candles, skulls, and other trinkets. If you could get these ritual components, you could stop the cult's vile magics and have enough proof to condemn the Vanderbilt family. Place an interact token is indicated. Alright, alright. I got that on. Oh boy. There's a lot of fishy. You may move one space into the explored area. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Oh, what the heck. <laughs> we all did once. all. Stop. Just close the door, walk away. <laughs> hey, hey, holy cow, we just had a massive influx of bits. All right. Sagotron taking the wheel. Spinning the wheel. <laughs> Who is the stream boss now? Is Sky it Opti? Screens, actually. Oh, Sky Screens made it just before almost... Sagotron did. Lose one oh, sanity. Man. Sky of Screens, decide <laughs> you get to pick a character to lose a sanity right now. Oh god. Oh gosh. Who's it gonna be, Sky of Screens? You decide while while we uh Do we have any more people who have actions to take this turn? I haven't done mine. Okay. Done I haven't mine done mine either. Either. Oh yeah, we have lots. It was a pretty big turn, pretty heavy turn. Yes. Go I say go ahead and take your turn while Sky of Screens uh, make, spends time thinking. All right. right. I, you must interrupt the ritual I'm, taking place before it is complete. Oh, no. I'm going to rush for it. I know what's happening! Oh, 
Okay, so that's one action. Got to stop it! Sky of Screens has spoken. He says, Yorick, the thespian. Actors always struck me as uh, detached from reality. <laughs> you know, that totally explains my rushing into danger yeah. at this particular you're, moment. You're, so. You've gone Good a little point. <laughs> <laughs> How do I track that? I've got you seven... Grab one of the horror three. cards here. And you take that uh, face down into your... So I take a face down horror, then. Yeah, face down horror at into your character area. If oh, you accumulate man. seven of those cards, you go insane. Oh, nice boy. Nice work, Sky of Screens. And of course, Sky of Screens is now the stream boss. Psychotron has already done some damage to him. Um, but you guys, we can spin the wheel again. There's some there's some pretty uh, pretty good things in there. So <coughs> you, you Thank can, you uh... for helping me with my collection there. Uh, <laughs> one down, six to go. All right, Rita. <laughs> All right, Rita. Um, You're con continuing your kung fu. <laughs> <laughs> Rita turns around. She picks up the uh, the two by four, which is lodged into the skull of the cultist on the floor. Rips <laughs> it out. Chunks of brain and blood spray across the floor, and turns to the new cultist and says, "I came here to stop cultists and search for." Clues, and I'm all out of search tokens. <laughs> and she's gonna <laughs> attack. Nice. Damn. Um, Each time you swing your is... weapon, your opponent dodges desperately aside. Test strength, and you need two successes. Ah. The game chose the wrong test. <laughs> you got him. Uh -huh. If you pass, your opponent try okay, tires first. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage plus your test result. God, so we yeah. that'll yes. be four. Two, Wait, three. Do cultists count as monsters? Yes. How many have you... we killed so far? Ugh, I don't know. I think we've killed. This is the third. Yeah, this is the third. Uh, um, oh, yeah, right. You get if a clue spend... every time. Scrim, if you, or sorry, Rita, if you spend a clue, I know you got an extra investigation to, uh, yeah, token. If you spend a clue, okay. you get that one final piece of damage that'll kill the cultist in one. Oh, one okay, hit. yeah. And do I get a clue back when I kill one? You don't. Mm -hmm. uh, William okay. does. Oh, cool. Um, okay, yeah, I'll spend that clue to kill him off. Okay, he's out. Uh, because. Describe the kill. Uh,. All right, so the brains from his friend uh, fly through the air, and uh, and she she levels it right at his eyes and jabs it in, um, and it's just like the the blunt force of it knocks his head back, uh, crushes in his face, and he uh, collapses to the floor. Nice. Um, Prism shard is going against the uh, channel boss over there. <laughs> what? <clears throat> um, okay, so he's dead. Will so never loved you anyway. Cultist bodies in the lobby. <laughs> uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She always um, thought you were a hack among cultists, you fool. <laughs> uh. Well. I want to handle this deep one, but I also want to get away from it. So I'm not sure what I want to do. I think, I think I'm gonna head up one. Uh, I'm gonna move away. Oh, but Eugene is here. You wanna, you wanna see what Eugene has to say? Can I talk to him? Yeah. Eugene cowers in the entryway. I think I know who they are. You can spend an who action. Are they? Okay. <laughs> Eugene wipes his brown with a handkerchief as you approach. They have been Mr. Vanderbilt's guest in the past. They are members of the Astronomy Association. Gain two clues. Really genius? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're astronomers. <laughs> Man. Yeah, okay, whatever, two clues. Awesome. Right, Thanks, you, Eugene. So uh, you. And Rita um, takes, uh, she pulls off a splinter from her two by four and starts picking her teeth with the bloody splinter. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> She's losing it a little. 
Um, Agatha, uh, God, there's a deep one in the room. Um, hmm. <laughs> like on top of her. <laughs> Literally, yeah. Um, all right, well, feeling confident after having taken out a cultist, she's going to give the uh, the deep one a swing, or she's going to attempt at it. She's going to give him a piece of her mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, I'm going to go for... This is the first one to spawn, so it's this one. Okay. So attacking unarmed. You catch your opponent's wrist above your head, then pivot, twist, and attempt to throw. <laughs> Test agility. Oh, <laughs> you need two successes. Nope. Uh, if you fail, you accomplish little more than shoving your opponent around for a moment. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um... Yoga uh, only gets you so far. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Uh, should I move out? No, I'm gonna. Um, I'm just gonna keep trying to swat this thing. I'm gonna attack again. You throw a low punch at your foe's gut, and as the figure curls over to avoid the first hit, you swing your other fist toward the exposed head. To strengthen, you need two successes. My strength Agility is two. Agility and strength, your two best stats. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Hey, if you fail, your offhand swing lacks the necessary strength and control. Agatha is currently uh, screaming in terror. Ah! No! Ah! No! Throw a book Get at away it. away from me, you monstrosity! Okay. Well, that's me. Is that everybody? Uh, yeah, do you think we should, uh... Hey, Opti, with a bunch of... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fill the cup, buddy. Fill that cup. Um, do you think we should like take a, a short break before or after this uh, mythos phase? Uh, sure. I'll resolve the mythos phase and then Agreed. take a break. Agreed. Okay. Or should we have some suspense? Hey, I'm I'm all about it. William Yorick suddenly drops to his knees, clutching at his gut. His skin bulges and distends as something moves beneath it, twisting within his innards. William Yorick, William Yorick suffers a face down damage and one more face up. Oh, yuck. Blame Sky of Screens for making you go a little bit crazy. Do <laughs> that. Hey, Opti, did you know that you can buy like 500 bits for a dollar? There's like a special going on right now. Yeah. Imagine how many ones you could bits. drop. Think the of that. Face down wound. You get a stream. face down damage. Or face down wound. Sorry. Is it? I guess that's what I call it. What is that? Okay. Hold on. Where'd it go? Okay, here's a face down damage. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Okay. Yeah, don't flip okay. that So that's a, that's a face down damage, and then your face up horror. Oh, do you do what it says right away? Whoops. Oh, no, you flipped it. Look, I didn't look. You want to flip this one. Okay, you got minor shock. Resolve immediately. Oh, where did it end? Stop. Stop it. Okay. going your heart races and your breath catches in your throat <laughs> no additional effect flip this card face down well that's lucky Ooh, yeah oh, oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay, it's okay. It's right. okay. let's just take a break relax take a few moments we'll be back in five minutes